What's up y'all? Welcome to the Conover Research Farm located here in Ohio. This is our first ever virtual tour. We're excited to have you along. We've got the full lineup of Bear Crop Science Tailored Solutions on display. We've set up our product blocks by management zone to make it more relatable to your operation. We've got our full lineup of corn, Extend Beans, and the brand new Extend Flex. We've also got spray demos for herbicide and fungicides in the back. So much to cover. Come on, let's catch up with the rest of the team. Hey guys, we're standing in the middle of our corn management block where we tried to do things a little bit differently this year than we normally have. You're familiar with the X blocks we've done in the past. We went down that same road. We're still splitting our lineup into stable and responsive products. The only difference is we're managing each product individually. So what's exciting is you're gonna see a hybrid that may be a stable product such as 7027 in two different yield environments, 150 bushel environment and a 200 bushel environment to which we tweak the population, the amount of nitrogen in each along with fungicide applications to see how that product responds. Same thing on the responsive side, but we push those yield environments a little bit higher where you're gonna see a 200 bushel environment and a 250 bushel environment. So each hybrid in there will have more end depending on what environment it is along with the fungicide applications change a little bit. So let's dive into each one of those responsive product side of our corn management block. Here we have products that normally tend to yield better if they're managed a little bit differently than some of our standard hybrids. We've divided this into two different yield environments, 200 bushel zone and a 250 bushel zone. The difference between the two is nitrogen rates are different along with fungicide applications are different depending on what side of the aisle it's on. What's really exciting about this is you can see a responsive product with maybe a baseline set of products and fungicide applications and what if you were to take that to the next level and tweak it a little bit. So we would expect to see a big bump in yield between the difference in these two different categories. We're standing in the stable product side of our corn management block. And similar to the responsive side, we've broken it out into two different yield environments. To the west, we have a 150 bushel yield environment. To the east, we have a 200 bushel yield environment. Similar to the other side of the aisle, we've changed populations on each side of the aisle according to that yield environment along with the nitrogen rate. One of the biggest difference here on this side is one side will get an R1 fungicide application of Delaro and the other won't. What's exciting about this side is you're gonna be able to see some of our stable products, stuff that's been around a while, it's been super dependable, but in two different lights of how you can take those to a management style and get just a little bit more performance out of it by tweaking some of the things you normally do. So we're really excited to come through and see the differences this fall as we get to harvest. Here in the soybean management block, we placed our Extend and Extend Flex soybeans, both the same as corn, we have one end that's stable products and the other end that's responsive products. Right now I'm standing on the responsive side of the soybean block where products like 36X6 are planted. So 36X6 on this side, on the sign side of the block is planted at 100,000 and treated with Delaro and Leverage 360 at R3. On the left side of the block, it is planted just alone at 140,000 with no other treatments. Right now I'm standing on the stable side of the management zone where products like 38x8 are planted. On the sign side of the block, they are planted at 100,000 and treated with Delaro and Leverage 360 at R3. And again, on the other side, without the sign, they're planted at 140,000 all alone. Here I am on the stable side of the Extend Flex block where we have products like 38xf1. Again, on the left, we're planted at 100,000 treated with Delaro and Leverage 360. And on the right, we're no treatment at 140,000 so we can see how these beans respond. Here we are in front of our kernel fill demonstration on corn. So we talk about seed size in soybeans and how that has a huge impact on final yield but also has a huge impact on final yield in corn as well. So in this demonstration, we have multiple products out here and we have multiple management styles to try and make that uh, seed size as big as we possibly can get it. That way we're driving that denominator down and that yield calculation. So come out to the farm this summer and uh, we'll show you some of the things that we're trying to drive that uh, yield, that denominator and the yield calculation down. So instead of using 90,000 kernels per bushel, could we get this down to 60 or 65? One of the most exciting demos of the farm this year, in my opinion, is our fungicide demo. Something we've done really cool is we've always talked about fungicide timing and if putting on earlier really would pay or not pay. So what we've done is we've taken two different hybrids, 5799, it's been around for a while, real good stable product, 
along with 5835, which was one of our higher end disease shield products. It's supposed to have that really good defense against, you know, those key major five diseases. And what we've done is we've taken three different timing applications. We've taken an Inferro, a V5, and an R1. And we've done those and segmented them out to where they're each on their own. So we have passes here with just Inferro, just V5, V5 and R1 together, any combination of that grouping you can make. Right now we're standing in front of an Inferro V5 R1 application for 5835. This is a replicated trial, which is really exciting for us because we'll have three different replications of these two different products with all of these different application timings to kind of see what pays and what doesn't. So one of the questions that we get a lot is, so what are the best products for my yield environment? What are the best products for my special um, scenario that I have? So whether it's poorly drained, um, droughty type soils, early planting, SDS, white mold. So one of the things that we do here at the farm is we take our best products for certain environments and we plant those um, together in an entire pack. So if you're looking for the best product for gray leaf spot and say 114 day RM corn, We've got that planted here and we'll have it signed here in the next couple of days. So it's an easy way to learn about products and which ones fit your specific need or fix your certain situation. Back by popular demand this year is our inoculated disease demo, except we set it up a little bit different than last year. So behind me, we have nine key diseases that hit the Ohio corn, uh, corn market and we have a row of each for each disease and each row is a different hybrid. And those hybrids rank from really weak to moderate to really strong on, the, on a particular disease. And then when we come through and we actually introduce inoculum um, to each of these. So really high pressure on different products. And then the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the back half of this and we're gonna spray it with Delaro Complete at R1. So you can see what does a weak product look like on Grey Lease Prot with and without Delaro. And then what's a strong product look like with and without Delaro in an inoculated um, situation so we have really high disease pressure. So come out um, here, middle of August is a perfect time to see this demo. See what you can see, see how different products will react differently to all these different diseases. Hey, thanks for following along in the video. As you can see, the farm looks fantastic and there is tons to learn out here. And the really cool thing is we have set it up with the QR codes and the signage to be a completely self-guided tour. So contact your local Bear Crop Science sales rep. Set up a time to come out and learn and explore around the farm and give yourself a tour of what we got going on. Also, pay attention this fall as we share the amazing results from all these trials. If you enjoy this content and the video, please share with your friends, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.